In this part, we will discuss the variance of independent random variables. Okay, recall that from the last segment, we show that if two random variables x and y are independent, the expected value of x times y equals the expected value of x times the expected value of y. So how about the variance of x plus y? So let's try to uh, follow the first def the definition of variance and, and do some computation here. So um, so let's first uh, call the expected value, define the expected value of x to be mu of x, and also the expected value of y to be mu of y, so that we have simpler terms. So the variance of x plus y, so uh, we're going to use this definition of variance. It's going to be x plus y square minus the expected value of x plus y everything square okay all right so let's uh, do some math um, so if you expand this you're gonna get that expected that this is expected value of x square plus 2xy plus y square minus so if you use linearity of expectation you know that this is expected value of x plus the expected value of y okay so if you take the square so you're gonna get uh, this to be the expected value of x square plus uh, so let's use the mu symbol okay it's gonna be mu x square plus 2 mu x mu y plus mu y square okay and uh, we, we expand everything out okay so you're gonna get that this is expected value of x square plus 2 expected value of x times y plus expected value of y square minus mu x square minus 2 mu x mu y minus mu y square okay so let let me reorder the term a little bit okay so it's going to be expected value of x square minus mu x square plus the expected value of y square so let's move this term here minus mu y square plus um, two expected value of x y minus two mu x mu y okay if you look carefully so this is uh, variance of x right and this is variance of y and the last term usually appears a lot okay so we're gonna define it okay so let's factor this two out so you're gonna get uh, this to be expected value of x y minus mu x expected value of x mu y okay so this term appears a lot so we're gonna call it uh, the covariance okay so the definition of the covariance is this so if we let uh, mu x be the expected value of x and mu y be the e the expectation of y so the covariant is this so the expected value of x minus mu x times the ex uh, times y minus mu y right so if we expand the things now we gonna get the another form of the covariance so this is expected value so let's let's multiply everything so you're gonna get this to be x times y minus x times mu y minus mu x times y and then plus mu x mu y okay so from a line linearity of expectation we know that this is expectation of x y minus uh, this is the constant so we pull it out times the expected value of x and minus so this is co another constant so we pull it out mu x times expected value of y and this 
two terms are constant so plus mu x mu y and you know that this is also mu x this is also mu y so this is mu y times mu x this is mu x times mu y plus mu x mu y so you have uh, this is positive plus one this is minus one this is minus one so you end up with just expected value of x y minus mu x mu y which is uh, if you write back everything out so it's going to be expected value of x minus expected value of x expected value of y all right so this is another form of uh, covariance this is the one another form the first form all right so uh, let's look at the covariance of independent random variables so we know that uh, for independent random variables x and y we know that the product expected value of the product is the product of the ex expectations so therefore the definition of covariance is uh, this it's going to be the expected value of x y minus the product of the expected value of x and the expected value of y but from this if they are independent we know that these two terms are equal so we know that the covariance is zero okay so this kind of measure how how they behave related to the their means and if uh, there are no correlation then the, the, the covariance is going to be zero okay all right um, so we can plug it in for the var variance of the uh, random variables x and y when they are ind independent so previously we showed that variance of x plus y is just the variance of x plus the variance of y plus twice the covariance of x y okay in case of they are in when they are independent we know that this is zero okay so then we know that if so this term the, the above expression is true no matter what relation of x and y but if if uh, x and y are independent okay we know that the variance of x plus y is the variance of x plus the variance of y so this is what we claim previously in one of the slides on binomial random variables okay that's it thank you